Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 34 in Mapping Data Flow Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to unpivot columns of multiple data sets using Mapping Data Flow. So let's see our use case in details. So as you can see, our requirement is to convert this input data set into this kind of output data set. Basically, if you closely observe, we have to convert the column names into row values that is called unpivoting. So we have to perform unpivoting on top of multiple columns which are coming from different data sets. So you can see if we consider these as different data sets, then sales is a data set, volume is another data set, target is the third data set and then accommodation is fourth data set. Okay. So we have to convert this data into this kind of output. So let's directly jump into data flow and let's see how to convert this input into this kind of output. Okay. So let me go to Azure portal. So let me clear all this and let me go to Azure portal. So let me first show you the input file. So we have this CSV file. So let's check the data. So you can see this is how the file looks like. Let me expand it. So we will create the source data set on top of this file. Okay. Then we will try to transform this data with the help of data flow into this structure. Okay. So let me try to create the data flow. So I'm going to click on the new data flow option and let me turn on this data flow debug option so that we can preview the data during the creation of data flow. Yeah. So the spark cluster is ready. Now let me add the source transformation. And let me try to create the source data set that will be pointing to my file, which is in CSV format. And that is stored in ADLS. So let me select the link service pointing to ADLS and let me navigate to the file path inside ADLS input container. Okay. Yeah. So this is the file that I have. So for now, I'm not going to select this first row as header. Let me click on OK and let me preview the data. So you can see since we did not check on first row as header, so we are getting these kinds of column names that is column underscore one, column underscore two. So these kinds of column names we are getting that is by default created by ADF. Okay. Now this is the uh, actual header that we had that is this one okay sales volume target and accommodation but our need is to convert these values or these column names into row values right as we have seen in the presentation as you can see we have to convert these values into row values right basically we need to consider this second row as the header instead of this first row so we need to do something to skip this row okay so what I'm going to do is let me go back and here in the source setting here, if I scroll down, there's something called skip line count. Okay. So here I will be mentioning one as the skip line count value so that the first uh, row, whatever we have in the uh, data set, this will be skipped in the data preview. So now what I want is we have skipped this particular row. Now this is what I want to be uh, called as header. So now I will go to the uh, data set and now I will check on this first row as header option and let me go to preview data and let me hit on refresh. Yeah, so the data is visible. So you can see uh, this is the schema that was coming from the earlier data set. And if I scroll right, you can see this is what we have landed on to after skipping the first line and after uh, checking on first row as header. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to projection and I'm going to import projection again so that it will redefine the schema of the data set. So let's wait. Yeah. So you can see the new projection has been imported and it is showing the correct schema of the data set. So let me go to uh, data preview and now let me hit on refresh. So let's wait. Yeah. So the data is visible now. You can see this is what we wanted as the uh, column names and these are the values. Okay. Now I want to convert these column names into row values as we discussed here. 
So if we directly apply unpivot on top of this data that we have currently, then it is going to unpivot all these columns into row values, which means we will get a set of 12 records instead of three that we need, right? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to divide this data into four data sets. So once we have four data sets, then we will apply unpivot on top of all these four data sets and then we will try to join all these four data sets and convert it into single data set. So let me go to uh, data flow again. So don't get confused. I'm directly going to implement the same thing that I'm talking about. So basically I'm going to split this data into four data sets. So it is just the column division that we are going to do. So for the first data set, we will have only these columns and for the second data set we'll have these columns for third data set we'll have these columns so for doing that we need to use select transformation if our requirement would have been to uh, split the records or split the data set based on uh, row values then we could have used conditional split right but since we need to uh, divide the whole data set based on columns. That means we need to segregate these columns. So I'm going to use select transformation. So now for the first data set, I'm going to have ID and name in all the data sets. And I'm going to uh, leave these three uh, columns from the top and all the other columns I'm going to delete, delete from the first data set. So let me select all these and let me click on delete. So originally uh, we had the column names like 2018 Jan, 2018 Feb, 2018 March and similarly all were same with the same name. But Dataflow explicitly gave this uh, numbering so that the column names do, do not get repeated. Okay, so uh, in the output I am going to remove this explicit numbering so that we get uh, same column name as was there in the source. So let me, uh, so let's wait for the data to be fetched. Yeah, so the data is visible now. So we are getting only these three columns, which is belonging to sales data. Okay. Similarly, we will segregate the other columns as well into different data sets. For that, we have to use select transformation again on top of this source data. So I'm going to create a new branch out of this source and then we can select the required columns. Okay, so let me use select again. So we have select two here. So now I'm going to leave ID and name as it is. We need this in all the data sets. And since we had these three columns in the first data set, so I'm going to delete these three from the second data set. And I'm going to keep the next set of three records for second uh, data set and the rest of all will be deleted. Okay, so let me delete all these. And again, I'm going to rename it as the uh, column names as was present in the source. So let's preview the data now. Yeah, so the data is visible now. So we have the second data set as well that is representing this val volume category, which has the value as 20 for all three uh, uh, columns. Okay, so this is the second one. So to uh, understand it better, let me rename this uh, select transformation as volume. And on the first one, let me rename it as sales sales okay similarly we will create third branch out of this and we will rename uh, the select transformation as let me go back so third one is target okay so let me rename it as target target and this time we will keep id name and we will delete the first uh, set of three columns then second set of three columns also I'm going to delete I'm going to leave the third set of three columns and fourth one will be deleted okay so let's hit on delete and now let me rename it as it is in the source okay let's preview the data yeah so the data is visible you can see the values for three columns are 30 which is representing the target uh, data set now similarly again I'm going to create a new branch and uh, similarly, I will be creating select transformation here. Let me search for that. Yeah. So this time the value is a comb. So let me write down a comb. And here we will delete all these columns 
except the last set of three columns. So let me leave these three and let me hit on delete. And I'll be renaming it as the uh, original column names. Okay. So let's wait for the data to be fetched. Yeah, so the data is visible and now you can see all the values are 40, which is representing the fourth data set. So we are good till now. So now our requirement is to unpivot all these data sets one by one. Okay, so for that, I'm going to use unpivot transformation here. And we will be ungrouping by using this ID column. So let me select ID in this ungroup by now, in this unpivot key, we need to provide a new column name for all these uh, values that we are going to convert from column names into row values, which means what is the name of the column that you want in the output data set that will hold all these column names as the row values. Okay, so our uh, expected name of the column is month. So I'm going to write month as the unpivot column name. Okay, and this uh, data type of uh, this month column will be string right because it is holding a combination of number and uh, string so let me select string instead of integer or any other values and now in the unpivoted columns we have to provide column names to these values that we are going to convert from this column values from input data set so basically for the first data set, we need to provide sales as the unpivoted column name. Similarly, for second data set, volume will be the unpivoted column name and third data set will hold a target as the unpivoted column name and fourth data set will have a com as the uh, unpivoted column name. So here I'm going to provide column name as a com because it is connected to this select transformation that has a com as the name. So let me give a com as a column name. So now let me go to data preview and let me hit on refresh. Yeah, so the data is visible. So you can see we are able to unpivot these column names into uh, row values. But additionally, we are getting name as well, which is not required. So we can directly uh, remove this name from the select transformation from all these data sets. So let me remove that. Okay, because we don't need it. So let me remove this from all these four data sets. Okay, so we are good. And also uh, this ID is coming as tick mark instead of one, right? As we had in the uh, source, ID was one. So why this is happening is in source, if we go to inspect, uh, this is data type of ID column is boolean. So if I go to projection, I can change it as integer or string. So now if I hit on refresh in unpivot, let's see if ID is coming as one or not. And also name should be removed. So let's wait. Yeah, so the data is visible. So you can see ID has been converted as one as was there in the source. And also we are not seeing a name anymore in this output. Okay. So similarly, we have to perform unpivot for all the other remaining data sets as well. So for that, I'm going to uh, call this unpivot transformation. And similar to the earlier uh, unpivot transformation, I'm going to uh, ungroup by using ID. And in unpivot key, we have to give name of this column as month. So let me write month. And the data type of this column is string. And in unpivoted column, the name for the second data set is target. Okay, so this is for target. So I'm going to write target here. So we have given this column name explicitly. So now let me go to data preview and let me hit on refresh. Yeah, so the data is visible for target. So we are good. Let me uh, create the same thing for volume. So let me add unpivot transformation here. And let me ungroup by ID. And in unpivot key, let me give month where we will have data type as string and let me give column name as volume and let me go to data preview and hit on refresh. So let's wait. Yeah, so the data is visible. Now the last one is remaining for sales. So let me unpivot sales as well by using ID as the ungroup by column 
and here we will give month again and in the unpivoted columns we will give sales as the column name now let me go to data preview and let me hit on refresh let's wait yeah so the data is visible for sales as well now the only thing that we need to do is we need to join all these data sets into single data set for that i'm going to use join transformation so we can join only two data sets at one time using one join transformation so let me join uh, unpivot one and unpivot two using this join one so let me select unpivot two here and on top of which columns we have to join if you see the common column between two data sets is nothing but month if you compare id it is same for all three records so we cannot perform inner join on top of id but if you see month on top of month we can perform the join between two data sets okay so let me select month for both unpivot 1 and unpivot 2 and let me go to data preview and let me hit on refresh so by default it is performing inner join okay so we are good let's wait yeah so the data is visible after join so we have got uh, the combination of target and accommodation now we have to similarly perform join between uh, this join one and one of the unpivot remaining unpivots okay so let me select another join transformation and this time we will join join one and unpivot three okay so let me select unpivot three in order to join uh, this join output and unpivot three okay so we will be joining on the basis of month we can choose any of the months unpivot one or unpivot two because join one has two month column okay which is coming from unpivot one and unpivot two and both are having same data so we can choose any one of them so let me choose unpivot two month which will be uh, performing match with uh, unpivot three month okay so now let's preview the data yeah so the data is visible so you can see accommodation target and volume all three are present in single data set we just need to add sales as well for that we need to uh, use another join and this time we need to join join two with uh, the remaining unpivot that is unpivot four okay so let me select that unpivot four here in the right stream and we will join based on any of the month coming from left stream and from the right right stream we have month column from unpivot 4 so let's preview the data now yeah so the data is visible so now we have uh, the data coming from all the uh, four data sets just that we need to remove all these unwanted columns so if i go to expected output let me clear all this so we need all these four uh, columns and we just need one of the month columns so let me use select transformation to unselect the not needed columns we just need one month column so i am leaving this and we need accommodation we don't need id and month anymore so i am going to remove all the id and months we just need one month so i have kept one month and other things uh, are accommodation target volume and sales is what we need so let me go to data pre okay sorry i forgot to delete so let me delete this so we ended up with five columns so now let me go to data preview so it's fetching let me hit on refresh again so let's wait now yeah so the data is visible so you can see month and then these four columns we just need to rearrange these columns by sorting here so i need to drag sales in the top as you can see in the output sales volume target then a com so sales should be at the top then volume then target and then a com so we are good let's preview the data again yeah so the data is visible now let's use sync transformation to load this data into csv file so for that let me create a new data set that will be pointing to adls with csv format and let me navigate to uh, output container. So I'm going to select ADLS output. Let me hit on OK. And we don't need to import schema. And let me select this first row as header so that this 
uh, values that is coming as a column name should be converted to header and we need to go to sync settings and here in the file name option we need to select this output to single file if we do not select this the output will be stored in the partition file whose file name will be uh, assigned by the adf we need to give the proper file name so i'm going to set single partition and here we can enter the file name so let me give proper file name as unpivoted file dot csv okay so the data flow is ready now let me create a new pipeline that will call this data flow so let's call this data flow and let's debug this so let's wait for this data flow execution to be completed so it's currently in progress let's wait yeah so the data flow execution is completed now let me go to adls let's see if we get a file called unpivoted file or not so you can see we have this uh, unpivoted file.csv and let's check the output so you can see this is how the output looks like which is similar to our expected output okay so we are able to achieve this using unpivot transformation so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the content please keep practicing these uh, scenarios in data flow so that it will help you in performing data transformation so uh, please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you